Hello, I'm Jeremy Morgan, a training architect for CodeCloud. Today I want to share three of my favorite generative AI tools that have transformed the way I code. Now these tools are specific to software developers. They help you build better code faster. They use AI to help you with solutions, documentation, errors, and more. First, let's take a look at GitHub Copilot, your AI programming buddy. And let's see what it's all about. I have a small project here. I have a standard sitemap from CodeCloud's website. And I want to open the sitemap and extract just the URLs from it and put those in a list. Now, I've put together a script here and it's working, but it seems like a lot of code. I think it can be simplified. Let's see if GitHub Copilot can help us out. So I'll press Control I and you can see a few options here doc, explain, fix, and test. But there are other options as well. And one of my favorites is slash simplify. Now this feature looks at your code and attempts to make your code more concise. Okay, now we have a suggestion. And this solution is only five lines of code. So let's try that out. And now our code looks much more simple. So let's run it. Awesome, the output is exactly the same. However, my script is optimized and easier to read now. Now using Copilot, you can simplify your code and make it more optimal. Now I'm going to insert an error in our application. Now I'm gonna be a little sneaky and change this variable name. When we run it, we can see that it's printing out the full XML element here. We only want the URL. Let's see if GitHub Copilot can fix that. I will type in control I and then slash fix. And then I describe my problem. And I'll click accept. And then we'll run it again. Voila! GitHub Copilot found my error. And believe me, it can find even more complex errors than this one, but this is a good example. Okay, for this exercise, we'll open up GitHub Copilot chat. And here you can see three options available. Generate unit tests, explain the code, and propose a fix for bugs in my code. And these all work really well. Let's say we don't understand our code here. Let's have Copilot explain it for us. And here's a full explanation of our code. And this helps you understand your code better, especially code that was written by someone else or is generated for you. Now you can download the GitHub Copilot from the VS Code Extensions Marketplace or this URL. Now we're going to try another generative AI tool for programmers, Blackbox. We'll use the same example as last time and see if it can improve our inefficient script. We'll verify that it works. And now we're gonna ask Blackbox to improve it. And here it shows the problems with the code. Unnecessary if statements, poor readability, and it's overall inefficient. Awesome, now what can we do about that? Blackbox proposes a different solution than GitHub Copilot did, and it explains it clearly here. It eliminates some of the inefficiencies and reduces the time complexity, and it's formatted to improve readability. It looks good. Let's test it out. Now the code provided is certainly more readable. I like the comments it added in here. Let's run this. And as we can see, it's functional. It does the same thing the previous script did, only better. Now, this is more code than Copilot's solution was. If you remember, Copilot's solution was only eight lines or so. It was as simple as it gets. Now, while I'm always a fan of simple, I like to say that this solution is a little better. It handles edge cases here and it provides a ton of comments. Now, you can get Copilot to write comments as well, but I appreciate the fact that it was part of the solution immediately. One thing I like about Blackbox is the view diff history. This is a neat feature if you want to track the changes that have been made and compare them. Now, let's select all the code and we'll have Blackbox explain it. Now, as you can see, Blackbox thinks this is a FizzBuzz problem, which is totally incorrect. Now, I'm not including this so I can bash on Blackbox, but rather to raise awareness about AI tools and how they work. Sometimes they get it wrong. In fact, all the tools that we show here will hallucinate occasionally and give some bad results. But with all of these tools, the good outweighs the bad. Now, Blackbox AI does code completion as well, and it's pretty good at it. You can use comments to give it a hint 
and then use autocomplete to write out the code. As you write it out, it'll make changes and adapt. It's definitely a big time saver. And last, but certainly not least, we're gonna check out Tab9. This is another generative AI product and it works in Visual Studio Code. Let's check it out. Now Tab9 also does code completion and it does it really well. I love how it makes things so much faster for development. And it's the smartest code completion out of the three in my experience. So let's see what Tab9 thinks we should do with our inefficient script here. Now Tab9 gives us a few options to consider. We can use list comprehension instead of a for loop, or we can use regular expressions or XML eTree. Now I like regular expressions, especially when someone else writes them. So I'll click insert here. And as you can see, Tab9 shows you a diff of the suggested changes. Awesome, right? And we'll run the script and here we go. It's functional and ready with less code. It's more efficient. Awesome, right? Let's generate some tests with Tab9. We'll select the code and select generate tests. And as you can see, we have a bunch of tests here. So let's just grab one. And it shows us a diff again, and we can add in our test. But how is the Tab9 chat? Well, let's ask it a question. Now notice when we run this file, it outputs the file names to the console. We can pipe that output into a text file, but let's see if we can do that within the script. I'll ask Tab9 chat in plain English how to do that. And it comes up with an answer. So I'll insert that code and we see our diff again. I'll copy the new code into my script and we'll run it. Hmm, no console output. Oh, there it is in the output.txt file. Tab9 just suggested a great way to solve my problem. Now you can check out Tab9 in the extensions marketplace or download it from tab9.com. And those are my top three generative AI tools that I use for coding. Now you may have noticed they have similar features. They all kind of do the same things and they do it really well. So how can you decide which one of these to use? Here are some key things you should know about each of them. GitHub has great language support. It supports a ton of mainstream languages and it has very good coverage here. Now it runs in the cloud. You can decide whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it won't slow down your machine while you work. Copilot transmits snippets of your code from your IDE to GitHub for code suggestions. So if your organization values IP and security highly, there are other products that might be a better fit. Here are some things you should know about Blackbox AI. It's great with documentation. As we saw earlier, it generates code comments and other documentation really well. Now the code search is integrated, so you don't have to go to a chat or a separate window to do it. And at the time we filmed this video, Blackbox is the cheapest solution of this bunch. So if cost is a big priority, this is one to consider. Let's take a look at Tab9. Here are some things that you should know. Tab9 can be self-hosted. Now this is great for high security applications or if you wanna customize your experience. Now Tab9 does not send your code over the internet to their servers and it doesn't use your code to train their models. This is great if IP is a concern. Tab9 doesn't train its AI models on code with non-permissive licenses. This keeps your organization safer from copyright and other legal issues. And Tab9 is very transparent about the open source libraries they use for training. So there you have it, my top three. I bet you wanna know what my favorite one is, right? Well, I love all three of these tools for different reasons, but honestly, Tab9 is the one I probably use the most. Now, if you're interested in generative AI, which I definitely am, and you wanna understand it better and maybe build your own tools, check out the course here on CodeCloud, Mastering Generative AI with OpenAI. It's an excellent course. Now, if this video helped you, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Happy coding from CodeCloud.